All right, here we go, guys. My name is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist, and I will be showing you one of the uh, one of my painting demos here. I'm going to be doing some trees, some tall tree trunks. Okay. Once again, the way I like to do this is by check it out. Very simple. Just just kind of draw it, you know. Um, and I don't try to do everything with the same tool just like you don't try to build a, a, an entire house with just a hammer I mean you could right you could but you don't have to <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure some people have done it uh, it's probably in a video somewhere on, on YouTube but uh, you don't have to okay you don't have to you can use different tools so right now I'm using this brush to outline. This is just to outline. And you'll see right now. Look at this. Some tree trunks. Very simple. I don't want to I don't want to overwhelm myself with the work. Uh, too many artists find themselves overwhelmed with the work very fast because they don't keep it simple and also because uh, they try to, uh, again, they try to do everything with the same, uh, with the same tool, and so I recommend change tools. What I mean by this, check it out. I started with that, and now I'm moving with a palette knife, and change the tool accordingly. Also, uh, if you have to cover a large area, use a bigger brush. You know, change it accordingly. This is extremely important, guys. I, I'm talking about a little bit more about more, uh, I guess, things in 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 depth than how I used to because I see I see a lot of artists with big question marks. They they they, they contact me and they're like, "Well, how do you make sure that you change the tool you're using?" And I'm like, "Well, it's very simple. Is the space bigger that you're trying to cover that you're trying to paint?" then that, that means that you should probably get a bigger brush. Uh, are you trying to create texture in some, in some areas? Then that means that you should probably create more impasto and maybe use a palette knife there. Right? Impasto means, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, thick, thick layers of paint, like right here. And so, so it really has to do more with uh, what you are doing at that moment. So that you don't get stuck. Look. So that you don't get stuck. And now, um, here's another thing I wanna do. I wanna bring a, a large brush. And start doing some of that sky and, and again you, you want to be um, when you paint loose like this you want to be very uh, generous with paint and, and this is sort of where, where, where artists kind of I lose artists a little bit because they're like I have to use so much paint well you don't have to use so much paint but you have to be generous you know you don't have to do it like me uh, you know but you have to you have to you have to find out what works for you and, and the thing the, the thing that I found out is that when you're painting you have to be very generous with your paint or with your uh, medium so a lot of people are not generous with the paint they're, they're very generous with the medium meaning that they put a lot of oil or if they're doing acrylic they put a lot of a lot of acrylic medium or watercolor a lot of water in their paint their brushes are are filled with water why because it's the way that you're that you are able to to uh, to move you're able to move that way if it doesn't have that much medium it's very uh, cut and dry it's very dry and so you, you can't you can't keep it loose that way you have to you have to you have to find out what keeps your your artwork loose and so for me it's a mixture of 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 lots of paint but also lots of medium in there so that my, my paint is nice and and uh, and uh, 
creamy. I don't want the last thing I want is my paint to fight me when I'm trying to when I'm trying to do a painting. That's the last thing I want. Like you know that choppiness when it's fighting you. I don't want that. I want it to be a smooth ride because I'm trying to paint and I'm not I'm not sculpting something. You know, it, at, at times it might seem like I'm sculpting something, but I want to paint it. See now now I change my brush. Why? Because now I'm I'm this this the the area is uh it's smaller that i'm trying to paint here the what i'm trying to cover is smaller so my brush has to change or if my brush doesn't change the angle of my brush changes what do i mean by that well i could be using a brush like this let me show you i could be using a two inch brush like this and if my brush is not, doesn't get smaller, then the angle has to change, meaning I have to go like this, or I have to do this, right? I have to do something like this. The angle has to change. And that also helps you because it, it brings a different, a different feel, a different perspective on your paintings, a different, you know, it, it also keeps you fresh as an artist because you're using other parts of your brush. You're using other, other areas of your brush. Sometimes you'll see me do stuff like this. Look, at the very end, sometimes I'll do it in the beginning just to kind of warm things up, but, but uh, I go smaller at the end, right? I generally do that. I go smaller at the end. Uh, if I'm trying to cover smaller areas, very small areas, that's something that I, I generally do at the end. And if I don't do it at the end, it's because I'm, um, I'm really enjoying that part of the painting. Uh, it could be a, a portrait. I'm really enjoying painting a face, uh, or you know, that that type of thing. But as a general rule, I, I tend to do those things at the end. See, like the stems, I don't do them first. These branches, they they're, they're at the end of my painting. I'm getting closer and closer to the end of my painting. So so now it's time to do branches. Time to do some branches. Look, because I'm getting closer. And even with when I do this, I, I kind of let it flow. You know, I kind of let it flow. I, I I don't push it so hard. Why? Because I'm trying to use every angle of the brush. The brush is multi-purpose. The brush is very multi-purpose. And so even even this at the end makes makes sense to me using the back end of the brush because it creates that idea that idea that there's very thin branches <laughs> excuse me oh man it's winter <laughs> very thin branches popping out so i may not necessarily want to switch uh, my my tool here my brush uh, but i'll switch the way that i use it Right? So you don't always switch the brush uh, necessarily, but you can switch the way that you're using it. You know, there's so many, so many different ways in which a, a brush can be used. And you have to find that out. You have to play with it and experiment with it and find out. Now I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to go even thinner, right? Because I want to get that, those even thinner lines. And depending on the pressure that you put, the line, the line goes thinner or it goes thicker. It all depends on the pressure. So some people have been asking me, for years people have been asking me, how do you not keep your colors muddy on your painting? And I always answer the same way. It's, it's the pressure, guys. The muddy colors, well, I, I tend to answer, don't worry about that. But uh, let's keep it real, I tend to answer that. But when people really are, must know the answer. And I say don't worry about that because it's not necessary. It's something that you're going to start discovering on your own. Uh, and, and that's what carves your own style. That's why I say don't worry about it. Not because I'm not trying to share. I share a lot. But uh, the reason I'm saying it's because, look, it, it, it has to do with the pressure in which you you. you you place on the canvas and now I'm coming back right I'm coming back now I'm, I'm at this point I'm just doing details right? at this point I'm just coming back with some details look 
Now I'm doing I'm doing nuances, right? Little little nicks and 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 little knacks and whatever they call them. I don't know what what people call them nicks and knacks or whatever. Uh, little dents on the trees. You know, some someone carved a little a little heart. Boom. Those little things, right? Those little things that. But add the character. See, I I, I I use my my palette knife is is used in different ways, right? It's used in different ways. I use it as a. I also carve out. So that you use the you use the whole thing. You don't just use some of it. So there it is, guys. I hope that this was helpful. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And uh, you can find this and other paintings on my eBay shop. The link is going to be below. I'm going to pin the link. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.